Emperor Naruhito and Empress Masako are on a state visit to Indonesia. On June 19, they met with Indonesian President Joko Widodo and First Lady Iriana at the Bogor Presidential Palace south of Jakarta. They attended a welcome ceremony at the palace. This is the imperial couple's first overseas goodwill trip together in 21 years. The guests and hosts then planted seedlings of the Malayan eaglewood at the garden. In a surprise move, Jokowi drove them to a nearby botanical garden on a card as an unscheduled event. On the previous day, Naruhito made an outing in Jakarta while Masako rested at their hotel. He visited a depot of MRT Jakarta to inspect the mass rapid transit system that was built with Japan's economic cooperation. The emperor asked questions about measures being taken on trains in consideration of female and disabled passengers. He later went to a water pump station which protects the Indonesian capital area from flooding. Naruhito has long had an interest in water and conducts research on related issues. Japan helped repair the facility as the aging machinery became unable to perform the function of releasing rainwater that has flown into rivers to the sea. Emperor Naruhito and Empress Masako met with local teens on their goodwill trip to Indonesia on June 20. The two visited a vocational school and checked out works that were made by the students. The visit, which was initially scheduled to be made alone by Emperor Naruhito, was accompanied by the Empress at the last minute. The Imperial couple is in Indonesia for their first goodwill trip together since Emperor Naruhito's ascension to the chrysanthemum throne. It is Empress Masako's first goodwill trip in 21 years. Emperor Naruhito and Empress Masako offered flowers at the Kalibata Hero Cemetery on June 20. Around 9,700 people who made great contributions to Indonesia are buried in the cemetery. Among them are 28 former Japanese soldiers who remained in the country after the end of the Japanese occupation in World War II. The Japanese soldiers fought for Indonesia's independence from the Dutch Empire. The imperial couple's visit to the cemetery came a day after their meeting with four descendants of former Japanese soldiers who remained in the country. The imperial couple is in Indonesia for their first goodwill trip together since Emperor Naruto's ascension to the chrysanthemum throne. Japan's Emperor Naruhito visited Yogyakarta alone during his visit to Indonesia with his wife, Empress Masako. Naruhito arrived in the ancient city on Java Island on June 21st on the Japanese government plane. He inspected a facility related to water research before traveling to the Royal Palace of Yogyakarta. There he attended a banquet hosted by a sultan who serves as governor of Yogyakarta. The emperor and the sultan agreed on the importance of exchanges with young people. Officials said Masako spent the day quietly at the hotel in Jakarta. On June 22nd, Naruhito visited Barapadur, a Buddhist temple registered as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. He donned a batik shirt and wore sandals so that he would not damage the stone floor of the temple built in the 8th to 9th century. He listened to explanations about the reliefs depicting the life of Buddha. The emperor took out a camera from his pocket and captured the sceneries.
He said he was happy to be able to visit the historic site that he learned about in school and heard about from his parents. He also said he was impressed by Indonesian students who were studying the Japanese language and culture and urged them to visit and experience Japan. Naruhito was scheduled to return to Jakarta later on June 22nd. He and Masako will fly back to Japan on June 23rd. Emperor Emerita Sakihito and Empress Emerita Michiko visited a Buddhist temple in western Japan on May 17. They entered Chuguji Temple's main hall whose restoration was completed in 2021. The temple in Nara Prefecture has long had ties with the Japanese imperial family. Female members of the imperial family have historically served as abbesses of the convent. The main hall features a bodhisattva that has been designated as a national treasure. Akihito and Michiko have long worked on supporting the protection of cultural properties related to the imperial family. Princess Kako, the second daughter of Crown Prince Fumihito and Crown Princess Kiko, visited areas affected by the Great East Japan Earthquake on May 23rd. The princess visited the Ishinomaki Minamihama Tsunami Memorial Park and presented a bouquet of white lilies, carnations, and other flowers at the place of prayer. At the Miyagi Tsunami Memorial Museum, which was built at the same height as the tsunami that struck the area, the princess inspected the damage and recovery efforts. She said of the visit that it was a very valuable experience for her to realize that she was standing in the very place where the tsunami had struck. Princess Kako later visited the Kadonowaki Elementary School ruins, where she carefully looked at each of the exhibits. She said of the experience that she was able to get a new understanding of the horrors of the tsunami. Japan's Emperor Naruhito and Empress Masako attended a memorial ceremony for civilian sailors who died during World War II. The event took place on May 24th in Yokosuka in Kanagawa Prefecture, southwest of central Tokyo. Naruhito and Masako joined other participants in observing a moment of silence. During the Pacific War, the Japanese military requisitioned civilian ships to be used for transportation and other purposes. More than 60,000 sailors died while serving their country. The imperial couple also spoke with bereaved relatives of the sailors. Princess Kako attended a ceremony of the National Urban Greening Festival on May 24. The event took place in Sendai, the capital of Miyagi Prefecture in northeastern Japan. Kako said she pays her respects to those who worked toward rebuilding the region following the 2011 Great East Japan earthquake. Attending the festival is one of the duties she took over from her elder sister, Komuro Mako, who left the imperial family after marrying a commoner. After the ceremony, the princess visited a field where numerous flowers were planted. Kako is a niece of Emperor Naruhito and second daughter of Crown Prince Fumihito. Emperor Naruhito and his daughter, Princess Aiko, took in ancient Japanese court music on May 28. They watched a performance of the Imperial Household Agency's music department at the Imperial Palace in Tokyo. Japan's traditional court music, called gagaku, has been registered as a UNESCO Intangible Cultural Heritage. The agency's music department normally performs in the spring and autumn every year. 
This was Aiko's second attendance at a Gagaku concert and the first since the autumn of 2022 when she went along with her cousin, Princess Kako. Naruhito previously took in the performance in 2019. Emperor Naruhito and Empress Masako visited northeastern Japan on June 3rd and 4th. The imperial couple flew from Tokyo to Hanamaki Airport in Iwate Prefecture. On the first day, they offered flowers at a memorial in Rikuzen Takata, one of the places devastated by the 2011 Great East Japan earthquake. They also inspected the lone pine tree of the Takata Matsubara forest that survived the tsunami. This is the first time for them to physically travel to areas affected by the quake and tsunami disaster since Naruhito ascended to the throne in May 2019. Due to coronavirus restrictions, they had attended memorial events online for the past several years. The pair then visited a facility that commemorates the tsunami experience. They spoke with locals who were engaged in activities such as handing down stories of the 2011 disasters and rebuilding the affected areas. On June 4, they went back to Rikuzen Takata to take part in the 73rd National Tree Planting Festival. Participants offered a moment of silence for victims of the quake and tsunami. Naruhito said he is happy that the local people have recovered this far from the disasters. The emperor and empress planted seedlings and seeds of various plants. This was the first time in four years for them to attend the event in person and first time in 49 years for the festival to be held in Iwate Prefecture. Princess Kako attended a ceremony to acknowledge outstanding children's books on June 6th. たよな本がより多くの人たちの手に届くことを誰もが様々な方法で隔たりなく読書をできる環境になることを願い増章式に寄せる言葉といたします。Ten books were selected and awarded from around 4,000 works. The princess expressed her opinion on each book during the ceremony.